Hey there. It's a little windy down here near Yuma, Arizona. I just went by the Yuma Proving Grounds. That was pretty neat. Got two big guns out by the gate. Anyway, it's a beautiful day that I'm having. I've been listening to some audio books and doing my thing out here on the road. And I was thinking about making these a little bit more about business and being in business for yourself and so on. Because of all of my friends are self-employed. I'm the only one of us that has still uh, somewhat of a job, if you can call it that. And it depends how you look at it, I guess. If you, if you consider, I get a W-2, and that's a job, and if that's the way you look at it, then, my God, I have a job. Me, I look at it as I contract my labor to my buddy who owns a trucking company, and he covers all the overhead of the truck and the maintenance and administrative, and then I just drive the truck around and I get my cut of the profit from the, from the load off of that. Purely a state of mind, really. So it doesn't matter what job you have, you can look at it the same way. Because the truth is, you really are contracting your labor to the place that you work. And if it weren't for laws to prohibit it, I'm sure lots of people would make themselves an independent contractor so that they could have their own business and make more deductions from it. That's why the big thing about Uber, they, they see where people are making a bunch of money and they're going to be able to deduct things that they don't normally deduct. So they were attempting to make all Uber drivers and Lyft and put things like that be employees of the company, which would completely destroy the business model, which would ruin everything. For everybody and I think that's been put to rest I sincerely hope so because it's it's a lot of people getting their little piece of the pie and sticking it to the man <laughs> and it's just a good thing it gets more people in more of a business mindset which is completely different from a consumer mindset if you attempt to run a business with a consumer mindset, you are going to crash and burn. It's going to be beautiful in its fiery destruction. I know because I've seen a lot of people do it and I've gotten rid of most of it. Luckily for me, I thought mostly business-like my entire life as far as spending money and what it's going to do for me and what i got to get out of it and so on. think that it's very important right in the beginning to get your head right. I was talking the other day about going to the Marshall Silver seminar turning point and I've got a deal going on right now where when people are my customers and they come into doing business with me then I can offer them free tickets to this and I would say by all means, and without question, you've got to learn this stuff. The earlier you do, the more money it will save you. I was surrounded. It was a very high-level group of people there. They were talking about millions of dollars in transactions. For instance, property, property owners and property investors. And it was just a different... Group. And a lot of them, almost a half a dozen to ten, somewhere around there, were guys that were at the highest level in this thing, which is a $50,000 price tag. And they were still coming back to this initial seminar because it was that interesting to them. They still got some value from it. I thought that was cool. And I don't know what's a better testimonial than that. People who have spent $50,000 to be on the top of the heap at the highest level and they're still coming back to this one so that was awesome if you want to ask me about that that's cool send me a text or an email or something i have some new numbers that i'm going to be putting out and all of this stuff is coming through if you're if you're watching this you might be on my email list already if you're not 
get on there and find a way. And I will, I'll likely go back and edit the videos and put in the comments or something. Hey, go to this site where you can get on my email list. Because I got a lot, a lot of stuff to share this year, especially. It's going to be huge. And you won't want to miss it. It'll definitely help you wherever you're at. There's that. I'm going to leave it at that for today because I feel like I've been talking for a while. Looks like I'm over five minutes. Holy cow. Anyway, that's about as long as I want to go for anything. So I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. It is absolutely awesome here. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.